Hey guys, happy Friday. So we have a surprise banner release today and let's see what it is. Um, I know it's kind of weird because they released it on a Friday. Usually these things are, you know, right over the weekend or um, kind of Monday, Tuesdays, but you know, it's a holiday on Monday. So let's see, Friday. Okay, we get her again. Hatari Scorcher. So, I, now she's an infantry beast unit? Is she kind of the royal version of her other self? Because I, I really like the um, blue beast version, but now we get the red beast version here. To the wolves. Her art kind of remains consistent because she still has her slash for her one eye. Sun Piercing Steel. I may be unaccustomed to this weapon, but I oh man, that's pretty this. awesome. It's like Carla, but she uses a spear. So is this kind of like an alt banner, like for all of the alt units that they don't have a specific category for. Oh, that was really an elaborate outfit for Carla since she's from the plains. Desert Mirage. Um, Zane, so you saw him in kind of the clown outfit. Now he's kind of in his uh, mage costume here and definitely a staff unit. Um, interesting effect. We're going to go into that staff later. And then this must be Leanne. Oh, like, uh, Leanne and Azura. You have a beautiful voice. Uh, thank you. Okay, so this, another Azura unit, guys. We have so many Azuras. Um, but it does come with two new moves. She still get her grave waves, but now... It's kind of our first, um, because, you know, Leanne was a beast unit, she can actually move three spaces, but now we have a legit cavalry singer. Do they all move again? Yeah, it's pretty OP being cavalry uh, singer dancer unit. So I think it's the first of their kind. Okay, Paralog of Lost Kingdoms. That's why they're all in kind of this desert outfit. I know they did it last year as well um, with Tharja's country, Plasian. But this is Hatari. Let's see if we get anything special here. Maybe a grand hero. No, Zane's going to be demoted, so you don't have to worry about that. You're going to get him anyways. Definitely pull for green here. Green is OP. So it doesn't look like we're going to get anything else, but I will look at the new skill. So Nyla here, she gets Royal Hatari Fang, and I wonder if her other unit is actually going to get this sometime in the future as well. But this is a red weapon, so I don't know. So of course you get the Kanto Rem 1 here. Um, you can use an additional move if you haven't used the move yet. Wall Transform, only Wall Transform though. So it accelerates special trigger. If unit initiates combat or within two space of ally, five to all stats, and neutralizes effects that guarantee the foe's follow-up attack or prevent the foe unit's follow-up attack during combat, meaning that she can do the follow-up attack, but they can't. Of course, if unit is adjacent to beasts or is alone, they transform, and when she transforms, she gets plus two attack. But here's kind of the new thing, deal seven damage extra when special trigger and neutralizes uh, effect that grant special cooldown charge plus one to foe and inflict special cooldown charge negative two unit. So Sturdy Surge is the other new move here. Sturdy Surge, um, when you initiate the attack, you get plus seven attack and 10 defense. That is a lot of defense, but there's an additional effect. Also, if unit deals damage to foe using special, and she has a low special Luna there, and you can even make it lower with Moonbow if you want. Um, if unit deals damage to foe using special, restores HP to X percent of unit's max HP, uh, X equals unit max special cooldown value times 20 plus 10. Kind of very complicated formula, but having a low... Um, a low count special is actually going to benefit her quite a lot. Okay, we're going to move on 
And we're gonna look at Carla, who's not using her sword anymore. She's using kind of this lance or spear, depending on what you guys wanna call it. But it is called a lance in the weapon. Um, dry blades lance. Um, accelerate special trigger minus one. Again, this is gonna lower that special trigger at the start of turn one. Grant special unit uh, cooldown minus two. So she's gonna start by triggering her special. At start of combat, if unit is above 25%, plus six to attack and speed. So she's gonna be a really fast unit. You're gonna wanna put some sort of Swift Sparrow on her, or uh, I think it's called like Sparrow Surge or Surge Sparrow, yeah. Um, to unit during combat and deals damage, X percent of unit speed when special triggers. So this banner seems to have the pattern where you're dealing some sort of damage or you're getting some sort of benefit based on your special triggering. So that is uh, kind of the, the gimmick here. Um, let's take a look at um, Zane. This is the first time we're getting Zane outside of that clown Halloween outfit. Um, he is a staff unit this time and he ha he's gonna be the demote. So don't worry if you don't get him in the banner because you'll get him later by pulling random colorless but his staff is foe cannot recover hp during or after combat after combat if unit attacks deal seven damage to and inflicts deep wounds on target and foes within two spaces so this serpentine staff is kind of like uh the pain staff but it also instead of doing 10 damage for pain plus you're actually going to do seven damage and they can't heal on their turn or during combat or after your turn basically and during combat so that's gonna be interesting i actually think it may be better than pain um so we'll see we'll see how that plays out but you know i'm gonna be interested to see how that looks on an all healer team now we're finally getting a very op unit so it is a cavalry unit can move three spaces but also a singer and it's azura singer so she's gonna uh, have gray waves here. Um, gray waves basically, if she sings an infantry and ally unit, she gets to move, uh, they get to move an extra space. So if infantry move two spaces before, now they can move three spaces. If armor can move one spaces, now they can move two spaces. So that's gonna be important. I don't know so much about her weapon because you know, uh, grants plus three to attack, if Sing and Dance is used, grant 6 to adjacent allies for one turn at the start of combat. If unit HP is above 25%, plus attack and speed plus 6 there. So maybe you can use her to fight other um, mages because she does have the uh, far trace there for speed and resist. And she also has the... Um, cross spur resist so you, in a cardinal direction there you get plus five to allies um but i think it's really the sing part that's going to be beneficial to her and definitely you know being a cavalry she can move three units i think that's going to be important and grave waves is turning out to be so powerful i know it was on legendary azura um so now now it's going to be a very interesting move now, I want to talk about this harmonized skill because it's actually very, very strong. Grant another action to ally with the highest HP within two spaces that had already acted and is from the same title. So we had something similar to this um, before where it was uh, Sita and Plumeria. So now we have same thing with Azura here and Leanne. Now, Grant's attack speed plus four during combat for one turn. So it looks like that was granted for all allies. Now, what you wanna do then is you wanna move with the same title unit attack and then buff that unit. And now all your units are gonna get the attack speed plus four for one turn. It lets you hit hard and lets you hit fast. And definitely for uh, mixed with gray waves, um, that's going to be important because she can actually use Grey Waves and then Harmonize Skill and actually let that single ally move twice or two different allies move. It depends what you do. But being a cavalry um, singer, dancer with the Harmonize Skill, very OP unit. I do kind of like the desert theme, 
but we'll see how this goes. I'm interested to see these uh, formulas that base the damage or healing off of your special because that's kind of new. So that's going to be nice. Let me know what you guys think about it and I'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.